Hello everyone! We are back to the Makeup Diaries Quarantine Edition. It's day 23, so uh, let's just get to it. So, I already prepped my skin with my Glow Skin Beauty Phytoactive Conditioning Oil and then I used their Phytoactive Under Eye Cream. Now I'm going to do, or at least show you guys, because I've been doing it, but never on camera. I'm using the Laneige, we'll try it that way, um, so lip sleeping mask. I know it's supposed to be for nighttime, but I use it all the time. We're going to start with Soft Ochre from MAC. So you can use your fingers to apply this or a brush. Personally, I like to use my fingers because I feel like it warms up the product so it goes on a bit more smoothly, but it's really up to you. So, now that the lids are prepped and primed, we are going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette Oldsy But A Goody. Um, I normally use the safe colors, which are... Ooh, can't even see them. Oh, let's go this way because it's upside down. I normally stick to like the nudes, but I'm going to try using that lovely coral color. What am I going to do with it? I don't know, but we're going to try. Let's hope it's not a failure. All oh. right. So with my fluffy brush handy dandy, we are going to go into this lovely coral, which is called Bloom. And let's just go for it and pray something fabulous happens. Uh, so I put color on the outer corner of the lid, literally just kind of dabbing it and then doing circular motions because that's where most of the product, I'd like it to be concentrated. And then I slightly sweep it in towards the inner corner to give it a nice blended effect, as you can see here. So now I'm going to go in with, and let's hope this works, Cyborg. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's give it a whirl. So with Cyborg, I like to just dab it on because it is a little chunky as in glittery, but not full glitter bits, just smaller particles. And if you swipe at first, it's just going to all end up on your cheeks. And then once you're done applying as much as you'd like, go back in with your crease brush and bloom and just kind of blend the edges together so they don't look very harsh. So I did my liner, which was quite difficult because the pen dried out even though it was brand new. So I had to use a uh, pencil to go over it. So it's not as sharp as I'd like it to be, but Gotta do what you gotta do in quarantine, baby. So now we're gonna do the under eye. So what goes up must come down. So I'm gonna use Bloom from Anastasia to start lining and buffing out the under eye. So with Bloom, put it on a compact brush and really just pack on the under eye area because then we're gonna just go over that with some Smolder Pencil by MAC. I feel like it's one of the best blacks out there. It doesn't move as much. And then I actually went over it with just a nice gray eyeshadow that was in the Anastasia uh, palette just to really set the liner. And then I grabbed a pointed crease brush and I started buffing out my under eye. Again, I don't want it to be super harsh. I want it to just be nice and blown out. So now just repeat the same process on this eye. So we're gonna start by concealing and I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in light neutral. And again, the smallest dot is all you need. And again, I like to use my fingers because it warms up the product. That's my preference. Honestly, you can go in with a brush, you can go in with a beauty blender, whatever makes you happy. But I like to make sure I really get the edges nicely blended because you don't want it to be super harsh underneath your foundation. Um, and try and get as close to your 
under eye color as possible as well. We're gonna try something new for lashes because I forgot that I actually bought these a long time ago. Um, the, ew, ew, mm, mm, sure, why not? Official mink lashes, I actually bought them uh, because I saw an ad on Facebook. So uh, let's see how they work. The style was called Sweetheart and I'm obsessed with how dramatic they are. They're fun. And please use something other than tweezers. There is definitely other appliances out there to apply your lashes. Tweezers can be a smidge dangerous. We're gonna do foundation. Fenty 180. And again, start by adding dots on one section of your face first and then blend it out with your beauty blender, starting with the center, concentrating it there, and then working your way out. Then move on to the other section of your face and adding your dots. Then make sure you blend and tap. Don't do sweeping motions. Just tap, tap, tap. It'll eventually blend itself out. Don't you worry about that. Now we move on to the forehead. Mine is definitely a bit darker from the previous suntan. So we, I try to make sure I covered it as much as possible, but eh, it is what it is. So now we're going to contour. Uh, I'm going to maybe do something a little bit more extreme, but uh, let's just do it. So again, we're going to start with the Fenty Match Stick in Mocha. So I definitely added way more product onto the skin, making sure I was just under the cheekbone and then obviously doing my hairline and making sure it's as tight to the hairline as possible. And then I took my nice little compact brush and I started blending upwards to really try and soften up those harsh edges. Cause let me tell you, that was a lot of product. Wasn't expecting to put that much on, but I did what I did. And you'll see, it's gonna be quite lovely. Just give it a whirl and blend away until you soften it up as much as you like. And now we are doing the jawline. Gotta erase that double chin, y'all. I'm really taking this contour pretty harsh on that jaw. Trying something new, seeing if it worked out, and uh, again, you'll see it by the end of this if it did or if it didn't, but makeup is about taking risks and having fun with it, and I definitely had fun. So now we move on to the other side of the face, and again, just mirror what you did on one side to the other. You don't want to be changing anything up because you might look a little crazy. So as much as possible, do your best. And this is why I like doing makeup before hair because all the brushing into my hairline gets all my flyaways looking crazy. Um, I like to make sure I get it into the hairline because it softens the look so you don't have that mask of a line going there. And now again, we're doing the jawline. Oh yeah, baby. Buff away. I used the bigger brush for that one because that was a, a bigger job. <laughs> so what I did is probably way too extreme for every day, but this isn't every day. This is quarantine, baby. We could do whatever we want. So I've never baked before. Let's see. So I used my RCMA No Color Powder on my damp beauty blender just under my contour and then I did it under my eyes but I tried not to make it too heavy under the eyes because I do have a slight crease there that I do not need to have emphasized one bit. So while we bake I'm going to do my brows and Jesus. So I decided to do my brows off camera because, I mean, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that y'all can follow, but if you want, let me know. I guess that might be enough time since I just did my brows. Let's just dust this off and see what it looks like. Don't forget to use a clean brush for this. You could definitely make some mistakes if you have a dirty one. 
Then we gotta do bronzer. Cause yes, we can never be too glowy. I used Tarte's Dark Chocolate Soleil to bronze over my entire face to give me more of that healthy beachy glow. And now we are going to do a fabulous blush, but I'm gonna be using Stelazzi's Bahama Blush Palette. Um, normally I'd love like the wines, mauves type colors, but uh, these are definitely not those. So let's see what I'm going to go with. I did a blend of a few colors, but I don't remember what they are on the top of my head, but I will put them in the description box below. And for highlights, we are going to try again something new. It's called the Loose Glow highlight duo palettes from vive cosmetics uh oh oh cute so we have reina and diosa hopefully i said that right but i think i'm gonna go in with reina so make sure to use a nice synthetic brush and put that on the high points of your face definitely feeling this lovely golden glow and then I put it on the inside of my corners of the eyes and I used it actually on my brow bone and it made such a cute highlight for that area. So since this look is all about the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncuffed. It's one of my faves. So I like to start with my top lip and I like to make mine a little bit more soft and rounded so I start from the outer corner of my mouth working my way up and if you want it to be more pointed start from the bow and work your way down to the outer corners. I love this brush because it really gets my lower lip just super easy and saturated. There you go. Let's go do the hair. And here you go. Final look. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So yeah, the contour is a bit more extreme, and especially in person. When I went to my mirror in the bathroom, I was like, wow. But on camera, I look snatched. And I'm not mad. So take a look. Enjoy. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.